Tracy in Finland asks, what happened to Trixie? Well, right here, Trixie's in my bag. First round of European Open, hole 15. I try to take a huge hyzer out around the right side and I just throw it way too high, I get stuck right at the top of a tree. No way it's coming down. I was completely heartbroken and after that I continued to just absolutely not play good at all and ruined all chances of competing for the win of that tournament. But luckily some Finnish children are throwing all their discs up the tree getting stuck. They got it down on the second day before the round some some young man comes up to me and says, here you go, here's Trixie. That's not how Finnish people sound. I'm terrible at accents. Very, very happy to get this gem back. A lot of sentimental and value. She's a part of the family. She, probably my favorite PD too. The Real Matt 452 asks, what's your favorite disc besides your signature series? Well, I will say you got that right by saying my signature series discs are my favorite. Make sure you check out store.dismania.net and get your P-Line P2 or Glow MD3 as soon as you get the chance. But other than those two, I have two other favorite molds. My go-to, I probably use the FD3 50% of the time and the PD 50% of the time, pretty much for all my fairway shots. The FD3 is kind of like a beat-in version of the Firebird, so it's very reliable in windy conditions, very comfortable for forehands, or really any control over stable shot. I'm throwing this pretty much any time I need to th throw a control sidearm or just a really consistent hyzer. My other go-to is the Dismania PD. I have a first run and uh, two S lines in my bag. It's like a faster version of a T-Bird. Very controllable, very comfortable in the hand, and if it's anything wooded or something I need a soft fade to the left, or if I throw a little bit harder, I can get to go to the right, throw in the PD. Very, very comfortable and amazing disc. Kyle Weir 22 asks, which is your final form? Hat forward or hat backward? Honestly, I think it's no hat. Once I can grow some confidence in these locks of mine and get a good barber, I think I'll probably be going no hat. It seems like Paul Macbeth has won all of his major events with no hat. You know what? I think that's in the future. But until then, I'm gonna be rocking my flat bill hat. No curve bills, can't do it. It makes me look like a joke. Kieran Amoroso asks, what is the path you took from winning small hometown tournaments to competing in huge events? Well, I, this, this is a good question because you know how people are baggers and how they play to a division that they're just kicking butt in and you're pissed at them? That's a good thing. You know what that teaches you? How to play under pressure. You're not getting that. Let's say you're an intermediate player and you're playing advanced or even open. You're playing at the bottom of the pack. And that's that's not really gonna teach you anything. You're gonna there are some perks to doing that, but I recommend that you play in your division that best suits your skill level and learn how to be on top card, play against certain guys, because you're gonna have like playoffs or you're gonna have to make clutch shots in order to seal the deal on the division. For me, I did that back here. I didn't go out on the road until I knew I was really good and everyone back uh, around this area was telling me, Eagle, you need to go play NTs and majors because you're really good. Once I, I knew that, I had this confidence about me, so I went into playing GBO, Memorial, or whatever. I went there and I was ready to play with the big guys. Of course, there was pressure associated with like nerves and being there for the first time, but I was able to play to their level because that's what I've been doing back here in Colorado. It's all about building your, your confidence and skill level to where you can compete in the recommended division or be successful in any division. Be patient, trust that playing at intermediate or whatever division you are playing in is gonna help your overall skill level. And soon, you may be playing with Ricky Paul or Simon. <laughs> that was weird.
some some garden fresh broccoli right here. Some good stuff. Cult Z asks, have you always been vegan? I've been vegan for roughly seven years now and pescatarian all my life before that. The only time I've ever eaten meat besides fish purposely has been, or not even purposely, has been when I was really young because my grandparents really didn't agree with the lifestyle at the time. Now they're fully supportive of it. They fed me turkey bacon, chicken noodle soup behind my uh, parents' back. It's okay, Grandma, I still love you now. Aside from that, no. And I'll answer another question regarding veganism. Is it hard? Honestly, no, because it's all I know. I'm so committed to the lifestyle that I don't even really see any other way to eat. So I'll probably end up being vegan forever. It just feels, it feels good. I love it. It's probably one of the things I'm most proud of. And do I want you to go vegan? I want you to go vegan only if it's off your choice. You have to research it, be well informed, and if you don't think it's right for you, then fine, I'm not gonna judge you. I am not judgmental. <laughs>
can be your driving factor because you know what you're capable of and you can do it again. All right, let's go. Heather Schreiber, Schreiber, sorry, Zero asks, have you lived in Colorado your whole life? That I have. Best state out there, you know it. Post in the comments if you disagree. <laughs> G Heart Rob asks, if you had to play a tournament with four discs, what would you pick? Eagle Man, Signature P Line, P2, Eagle Man, Glow MD3, store.discmania.net. Three would be C Line FD3, four, Discmania S Line PD. I basically answered that question earlier. Crap. This isn't really a part of the Q&A, but a lot of you have asked me this question previously. How did you get the name Eagle? Well, in fact, my mom and dad were sitting right here at White Rock Recreation, open space or whatever, and they could not decide on a name for me. They were going through their head like, what do we name him? Do we name him Paul, Paul Macbeth, Alexander? One of the uh, serious considerations was Colby. Could you imagine me? As a Colby? I don't think so. My dad or my mom said, you know how Native Americans name their children? They see something out in nature, like an element, and they put it together. So they saw like an eagle fly out over here, and they're like, whoa, eagle. And it was windy out today. Eagle wind, eagle win. Did you see how that rolled off their tongue? And ever since then, it just kind of stuck. I love the fact that my name's Eagle. It's pretty badass, honestly. Shout out to you, Dad. Shout out to you, Mom. Rest in peace. Yo Yo Mika asks, in your putting routine, do you ever move further back than 15 feet? I don't know. Let's find out. I mean, honestly, you know what? It is good to practice a longer putt. It gets the release dialed in, but primarily 90% of your putting should be done inside of 20 feet. The only reason I can make those putts is because I have practiced the close putts before. Very important to get that down. If you're feeling frisky, if you're feeling confident and you're able to drain long putts, throw a few in there. That won't hurt, but make sure you're making them. If you're not, move it closer. You need to build confidence. It's 11.28 at night and I'm editing this video that you're watching right now. I want to tell you that I downloaded the trial, 30 tri day trial, Final Cut Pro. This thing blows iMovie out of the water. It's pretty similar. It's really easy to get the hang of. I don't know how to use a fraction of the features to it. But I can tell you at the end of the 30 days I'm probably buying the normal thing because there's no way I can go back to using iMovie after using this. 
I'm going to try to edit this and have it up in the morning. Hopefully I can do that. But guys, please leave a like, subscribe, share this video. And until next time, Chickpea Nation, keep on dreaming. The things I do for you guys. Ah!